There's never been a college football player quite like William Perry. 330-some pounds, they called him the human refrigerator. But the big kid could play. Recording at all time, ACC mark for career sacks and tackles behind the line of scrimmage. Perry, the only Clemson player to receive All-American accolades three different seasons. Then from Clemson, William moves to Chicago and the Big Bad Bears, where William Perry makes his move to the backfield. And Fridge Mania is born. William Perry, suddenly a national celebrity, an instant hero. There is still a Perry at Clemson University. He wears number 91, his name Michael Dean Perry, a junior defensive tackle who weighs in at 270 pounds, a fine athlete in his own right, who marvels at his brother's amazing success. You know, I'm, I'm very proud of him like uh, the rest of my family. You know, we're very proud of William and, uh, you know, he's been in the, in the media all the time and highlight, you know, that kind of comes down on me a little bit to ask me what I think about William. You know, I just tell him, you know, it's, it's pretty good. I'm glad to see him make it like that. You're looking at the fridge. I'm the richest. Everybody knows the fridge. He's the pack at number 72. <laughs> Everybody loves the fridge. This American refrigerator can cost a fortune to fill. In London, they call him the freezer geezer. He's William Perry, the 300 and something pound defensive tackle for the Chicago Bears, who turned into a thundering threat on offense two years ago. The Fridge is one of 12 children of Inez Perry, who loves her big boy, but has a special soft spot for her youngest child. Well, he's my baby, and uh, he wants to be the big boy, but uh, he is the little boy. <laughs> he's the baby. <laughs> this is Mrs. Perry's baby. He weighs about 50 pounds less than his celebrated brother. Michael Dean Perry's only 280 pounds. He's a college senior at the Fridge's alma mater. When Michael Dean Perry arrived on the Clemson campus, they called him the Little Fridge and Microwave. But in four years, he's made himself into a major appliance, an All-American who's threatening to break all his brother's records. The next time Michael Dean tackles an opposing runner for a loss, he'll break the Fridge's record for tackles behind the line of scrimmage. He's already broken William's record for sacks. Sacked by Michael Dean Perry. It's a great pass, Russell. It's easier for a uh, finesse player. He can get to the quarterback. And that's the ultimate. Uh, everybody sees it, so I just try to get back there and do, uh, do a job on it. Do the quarterbacks ever say anything to you? No, nah, they can't say too much on their back. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be a pro next year. But now he lives in Clemson's football dorm in a room that has the latest in TV and CD, but is not cluttered by a single book. Perry eats at the football training table, celebrating victories with a shrimp dish, a steak dish, and a fried chicken dinner. So my mother always told me when I, when I was, when I was uh, little, or excuse me, younger, <laughs> she said, uh, Michael Dean, you eat, you eat one meal all day. You know, I constantly eat, eat, eat. Michael Dean especially devours quarterbacks. He's a Perry, I know, and when you said that, you about said it all. You've said a mouthful. Dick Schaap, ABC News, Clemson, South Carolina. Strong family lines led the Perry brothers from Aiken down the hill to Jeff Valley. She gave them a lot of their personalities, and both of them had outstanding personalities. And athletic ability, I don't know where they got that from, but they had an excellent, excellent athletic ability, probably from their father. Um, uh, but uh, both were naturally strong, quick, uh, super quickness for big people. I mean, just they, you don't find big people that quick. Opponents would find that William was indeed fast and strong. For instance, in 1984, his 27 tackles for a loss was a school record. He also had 10 quarterback sacks that year for a total of 27 career. Former Maryland coach Bobby Ross is still amazed by the play William made on Willie Joyner. Willie was having a good day and broke down the sideline. And all of a sudden, just out of a clear blue sky, this massive human being ran down our running back. I mean, he chased him down. Uh, he made the play. Uh, and of course, it was a refrigerator. And yet, I thought Michael Dean was probably every bit as good a player. Uh, maybe not as intimidating size-wise, but as a player, uh, very much so. Our first game here at Georgia Tech against Clemson, on the very first play, uh, Michael Dean uh, was into our backfield before our quarterback actually had taken two steps away from the center. 
And, and I think that that set the tempo for that whole game. Michael Dean didn't want to be considered William's little brother. He wanted to be his own man, and I think he established that. And when he broke the sack record for uh, on quarterback sacks, he established his own uh, identity there, of course. The 28 career sacks was also an ACC record, and Michael Dean still sits atop the Tiger record book for tackles for a loss with 61 during his four years at Clemson. That's also an ACC mark. 1984 had to be a nightmare for opposing coaches. There were times when William and Michael Dean lined up side by side. William, now with the Chicago Bears, is a popular figure both here and abroad, as witnessed by coach Mike Ditka while preparing for an exhibition game in England in 1987. There's no question about it. People who don't know anything, they know about the refrigerator. The Perry brothers, William and Michael Dean, authors of a legacy of defense at Clemson. This has been another ACC.